Okay, thank you very much for your interesting uh, opinions. Now, um, some additional questions concerning employment. Question number one. Another factor affecting a person's employment chances is their ethnicity. How important do you think this is, Jeremy? Um, I think that on, on one hand, we obviously have laws saying that ethnicity should not be taken into account. We have you know, various equal rights, equality legislation. However, I think realistically, it does get taken into account. And on one side, it can have a negative impact with people maybe not wanting to employ certain groups or paying them less maybe for the same job but we also have instances of positive discrimination where a certain minority may actually get promoted in order to try and equalize the chances in society or something so i think it can have both positive and negative Im impact mm -hmm. Yes, I believe that nowadays it is less important than it used to be in the future because um, these days we can observe, um, you know, the, the levels of migration rising. So people more often like travel um, between countries, maybe to find employment abroad. And many societies are more ethnically, like you know, mixed, more diverse. Uh, however, as you as you've mentioned. Um, I believe that in some situations it might have an impact, even the positive one, where, for example, corporations, I think it happens quite often, they uh, want to have, you know, diverse statistics in terms of um, who, do they, who do they employ. Yeah. So they want to uh, show that they're, you know, inclusive and employ people from different ethical backgrounds. And also there are the cases of, for example, um, I know the Chinatown is what comes to my mind, mm -hmm. where there are um, restaurants, like Chinese restaurants um, mainly, who support a Chinese community, for example, in the US or yeah. in the UK. So uh, it does influence, uh, like the ethnicity of the workers does influence their employment, but the purpose of it is to somehow you know, promote and support Chinese culture in this particular yeah. places. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, thank you. Uh, question number two, employers have uh, a responsibility to the family and community of the worker. Mm -hmm. Could you please discuss it? Hmm. I think this is, you know, known as this, you know, social corporate responsibility. And yes, I, I, I would agree. I think, you know, gone are the days where we can just treat somebody as a commodity and that we should um, invest, in them as in, invest in them as people, but that also includes their, their family. And we, we see that, for example, where you get um, even just little things like sort of Christmas bonuses for children and gift vouchers for children. But on a greater level, we, we, we may um, encourage a working schedule that is, is sort of more adapted to, to working parents, for example, so they can look after their children. So I, I think it is important that we think of the family. Yes, but it's not like a direct responsibility, is it? Mm -hmm. like you do not pay money directly to the families or you do not, like the employer does not um, buy insurance for the families. Yeah. Because I believe that's that may be um, something that a person might think of when uh, you know um, talking about this issue, discussing this particular issue. But I believe that um, like employers should take into account that the employees have families, and you know the, the thing about um, the working time, I really like this one. Mm -hmm. So you know, just you know, have this awareness that maybe an employee has to um, you know ensure their family or pay for their children education and provide some opportunities to support it. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. And the last question is, how can large corporations be encouraged to stay in Poland and not relocate to a cheaper country? Hmm. That's an interesting one, because I believe this is, um, this is what happens uh, nowadays. This was the reason why um, large corporations came to Poland because Poland was cheaper than other countries and now they are relocating to even more cheaper locations and I think that one way, uh, one possible way of solving this problem uh, is to maybe implement some um, tax reductions or even you know tax release like mm. tax exemptions yeah. so that large corporations um, you know if they for example 
employ Polish people, so they um, support Polish economy that way, they are allowed not to pay taxes. So, um, you know, they have cheaper costs of functioning. I mean, this might be quite damaging to the economy because, uh, I mean, we could have um, earned some money from this taxes, obviously. But if we don't do that, then there is a possibility that these companies, these huge companies who employ like thousands of Polish people, um, that they will you know, move abroad and we will lose this um, employment opportunity. Yeah. What do you think? Well, I think I agree with you. It's like the natural sort of cycle of things that yeah. you're right, that they come to Poland because they are enticed by the the cheaper sort of the um, worker working situation in Poland. And so they're going to go to the next place. Oh, yeah. And I also agree that maybe tax incentives is the best way. I don't know about zero tax, but maybe reducing corporate yeah. tax or or some sort of you know, re um, reduce costs um, of running the company. I mean, the worst thing that we could have is that they would obviously try and sort of push down the prices again of okay. the workforce, because then that would be sort of not beneficial. So, yeah, maybe reduce taxes is a good idea. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. This is the end of the exam.